I think I answered my own question. Would you say that it applies to bodily, physical issues as well? And of course, yes, I'm sure it does. I, I'm asking because um, these last couple of years for me have been really hard with the physical body. I, and, and that was the, like, the last stand my ego had with me. Um, because I've enjoyed good health like my whole life, pretty much. I mean, I've had episodes of weird things, but you know, but I've been doing the course for about nine years. I've been applying the course for about nine years, and forgiveness of everything. And I mean, it's been so easy for me at times to forgive, you know, the things people say or do, and the things in my mind or the emotional. But when it came to the body, it was like, oh, the buck is stopping here for me. Then it became personal. It got real personal, and it, and I was really miserable with that. And um, my miracle came recently. I think it was about a week or so. I woke up, and I realized I'm not the body, and it's not personal. <laughs> and it's like all those little problems are just like dissolving away. Or if if a little bodily thing will come up, it's like I can look at it and just go. Cool, I'll just take an asking for that, you know, it's no big deal. It's nothing. And it's been such a beautiful shift, but I was just asking, I guess, in your experience or any of you, if, if that, you know, dark night of the soul is, or how it's arisen, because I've had the mental, emotional depression and all of that, but the, the physical ailments and even like the certain things like a, a rush of heat will come through my body and I'll just sweat like crazy and it's very uncomfortable, you know, and I'm just like, damn, and I, you know, and it's like, okay, and it's usually right when I'm starting to meditate, you know, something that just tries to keep me off track, and then it's like, okay, just let that go and come back, let it go and come back, and so I think I've answered my question, but if you want to <laughs> respond, that's fine. David, today's lesson really addresses the body pretty directly. Uh, no, no. And I tried my best, and the, the uh, still working on it. The the ego just uh, that's its last. I, it feels to me like it's its last stand, and it's not letting go easy. And when, when the lesson said, you'll know that you were successful when you no longer feel your body, it just doesn't happen for me yet. So that's where I am. Yeah. yeah, I think we all have a lot of stories that you're talking about and you're talking about where um, we had to come to such a state of allowance that, okay, it's going to look however it looks and it's going to feel how it feels, but I'm going to do this. I'm going to apply this lesson. I'm going to apply this principle. And um, for some it seems to be kind of psychosomatic where um, if, if you're not used to just expressing to everything and everyone in your life, literally, uh, and most people aren't, they, they will express a little here and let it out here or there, but there's a lot of denial and repression that's going on. So it, it's quite typical when that's the case that it gets projected onto the body. <laughs> Instead of uh, being held in mind, it, it seems to, that's a very strong tactic, like drawing forth a witness, witness of weakness or pain or frailty. Kind of like the ego saying, oh yeah, you think you're waking up? We'll try this one on today, you know? <laughs> it, like to knock you down to your knees or, you know, some kind of a nausea or whatever. Yeah. And the best part about it is, is when you just give it over to spirit, you know, you say, this, be you in charge. I am not in charge of my awakening. In fact, the Course in Miracles says you cannot wake yourself, but you can allow yourself to be awakened. I love that. You can allow it. So, when I was doing the workbook lessons, I, when I came to lesson uh, 136, sickness is a defense against the truth, that's the one where I came home, I put the food in the microwave, I microwave, I had nausea, and I got this diarrhea feeling, and I raced down the hall onto the toilet, and then on the toilet began the meditation. <laughs> 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 so,
sitting on the toilet. You see how practical Jesus is? He'll drive you right to the toilet. Not that you have to be on your knees, you, you've got to be sitting there. And then it dawned on me, it dawned on me that I've remembered my lesson for the day. Sickness is a defense against the truth. And then I started to allow related thoughts, because it's quite a large lesson, mm -hmm. it's a very long lesson. Sickness is the decision, love comes close to you, you're afraid of the love, so you try to throw up a defense against the love to prove that you're weak and little and frail and you're not as God created you, as, as the Christ. And I, and I let those ideas come. And then I just prayed to Jesus, I said, okay, here we go. Practical application, I'm on the toilet, and I've got the diarrhea and the nausea, and, and here's, and I went in, and what he did was, he took me down way into my mind, where, to kind of the branching of the road, where it was either that, that sickness was a reality, and in that case, Jesus, who I'd followed since a little child, had been lying to me <coughs> all the way along, and, and in A Course in Miracles. So, it came down to whether sickness was real or whether Christ was real. I, I, I could see that one would be true, the other one couldn't be. It couldn't both be sickness and Christ. So I just went down, 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 down into my mind to get to that point where they were side by side. And, do I love the Christ or do I love the sickness? Do I, you know, I, that was really what it came down to. And I remember sitting in the toilet and then these tears started just pouring down my face because I was like, I love Jesus. I love Jesus. I want the Christ to be real more than I want this witness of sickness. And boom, it was a miracle. You know. <laughs> it was a miracle. Instantaneous. It wasn't like, you know, 48 hour bug, 24 hour, all that learned worldly stuff. It was not everything, boom! It just, and that's, those are the kind of miracles that convince us of the power of our mind, of the power of the Holy Spirit. It's not some kind of an intellectual thing. I had to actually follow it down into my mind. I had to drop down where I could see them side by side. And when I could do that, then, oh, you better believe I could choose the miracle. <laughs> and that's, that's important. That's what, you know, even when you have physical symptoms or after a pretty healthy life and it starts to come at you pretty strong, you know, you, that's the time for faith, you know, to really carry it through all the way.